Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I want to share an unboxing with you guys. This is a mystery bag from mystery bag from Ofra. They had this mystery bag on their website for $35 and I was like, look, I want to try this out. So you're still able to apply a coupon code to it. So mine totaled out to $28.50 and I think the shipping might have been free. I'm pretty sure the shipping was free. So I wanted to try this little mystery bag out to see if it's actually worth $35, which is the initial price of it. Also, I wanted to say excuse my hair, excuse my glasses. I feel like we are close enough friends now that we can just wear our glasses and not have to worry about wearing contacts and my hair looks like a train wreck but that's okay you know what it's not about all that it's about what's in the box so we're going to get into this and see what's in here I did go ahead and pop the box open but I haven't taken a peek because it's all wrapped up nice and neatly so we will get into here so it comes with a little card on top here it says I am mine so I'm assuming this must be like a new collection that's coming out for Ofra it says give more to yourself get your self care on to our me collection available January 22nd so rose water makeup setting stuff some little lipsticks uh, a little palette so there's some interesting things that they have on their website I haven't shopped a whole lot with Ofra lately so this was something different for me so I know I probably don't have whatever's in this little bundle at least I hope not so that would be kind of devastating to have all the products that are already inside of here so it comes in this nice bubble wrap which I love getting bubble wrap because I use that when I do Poshmark shipping of course I use my own bubble wrap as well but I always try to reuse what you get so let's see get out of this noisy noisy packaging here oh it comes in a really nice bag the bag is really nice quality it feels like like a pleather like this is a really decent bag i like the color of it too it's like a blush pink it feels really nice it says perfecting beauty every day and then it's got the new ofra like logo here hopefully you're able to see all that i know my light tends to wash some things out sometimes so if i hold it back hopefully it shows up a little bit better so let's see what's inside of here oh my goodness there's a lot there's a lot so let me reach down and we'll just start grabbing some things out oh something sticky so the first thing is a Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade, where do you see the shades at? Pasadena. I know I don't have this, and this is their newer packaging, I think. So let me see if I can open this up, and we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, I think this is their newer packaging. Wow. So it's not like their older style. Because I know some people were saying that they were sending out, like, their older packaging or their stuff that nobody liked, like some other boxes did, some other mystery boxes. This doesn't look like they're doing that because this looks like a very wearable color. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. Oh, it smells so good. I love the smell of Ofra products. I think their lip products are so delicious. So there's what it looks like. I think it's a really pretty color. This is something I know I could wear like right now actually. Oh yeah. It's nice and smooth. I really like their lip products because they're not like sticky. They're not like drying. I feel like they're just like that perfect in between. It's that, what is it, like a Goldilocks type of lip product. I'm just put a little bit on here. Probably not do doing the world's greatest job, but that's okay. Okay, so there's what it looks like. Mmm, I really like this. So that is the first product, and I'm not sure what the price of each of these are, but I will have it and find it out, and I'll insert it in throughout the video so that way there you guys can kind of feel for whether or not the bag is actually worth it. So there's the first product from Ofra. Let me grab a little cloth here so I can wipe my hand off too because if not then I'm going to end up with swatches all over myself if I swatch anything else. The next thing inside of here is, ooh, it's wrapped in bubble wrap. You guys know how I like bubble wrap. Oh my goodness, this bubble wrap's like really taped tight. So this is an Ofra highlighter. This is all of the lights. Ooh, oh that is pretty. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. I love the colors in here. It's got like a really light gold, a more bronzy gold, a little bit of deeper gold, and like a pink shade. This is absolutely beautiful. I love the colors in here. This looks like it's, looks like it's gonna be a perfect combination for my skin tone. So I'm gonna do an all over swirl swatch. Ooh. Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I love that color. So I'm hoping that'll look good on my skin. Ooh, I'm excited. So, so far, this has been a really great bag so far. I'm very excited. Something else, what is this? Ooh, this is an Ofra Cleanse Off. This is a 100% lip wipes. Ooh, cotton lip wipes. There are 15 wipes in here, so this is good for getting off, I guess, their lip products, because I know their lip products are a little bit more long lasting. So, that's cool. I'm not really into like wipes and things like that. I don't buy them, but if they come in like a bag or something like that, I will use them. Then we have an Oprah Makeup Fixer, a light refreshing mist that keeps makeup in place all day long. This is sticky for some reason, like the bottle itself is really sticky. 
Not sure why. Don't know what the stickiness is about, but let's go ahead and peel this open. And we're gonna try it out. Oh my gosh, the plastic is so hard to get off. Okay, I think I found like a little hidey spot on how to get it open easier. Yeah, the bottle is really sticky. It's like like tape almost how tape like tape feels on the opposite like when the t the sticky side is how it feels the bottle feels very sticky i don't know why it's so sticky let me spray this a little bit on my skin here oh, oh my gosh it smells so good it smells like hair product wait a minute is this not a hair product right spray on your face okay i'm like that would be horrendous i just sprayed hair setting spray on my face no this is actually smells like hair product though it smells very clean almost like a nice fresh hair like shampoo so I like this that's a really cool little gift to, or not gift a little goodie to get as well then we have what else in here feels like there's maybe two more things I don't know there's something in a little oh this is a little post-it notes it says chilled out so these are little heart-shaped post-it notes and I think they're yeah they're just little post-it notes that's really cute I like things like that because I like to like write things down as I'm doing things in my beauty room so that'll be perfect just to leave on my vanity the next thing, I'm not sure if this is all one thing or what's going on here because it's all wrapped. Okay, we have another little long-lasting liquid lipstick. This is a little tiny one and this is in Tuscany. So let's see what this one looks like. Oh, that one's that one looks very similar to the other one. Let me see if I swatch them side by side, see if they are the same because right now I feel like they look very similar. Maybe they're not, but they just look very similar. Tuscany and what was the other one? Pasadena. No, they're not. They're not. There's definitely a difference. So one's darker, darker, the other one's a little bit lighter. So that's really cool. Okay, now I'm just gonna pull this out. I don't know what it is. Oh, no wonder it felt so weird. I'm like, what is this? What in the world is this for real? Get chilled out, it says. So this is a little eye mask. Oh my gosh, if you guys are like me and you suffer with headaches, like from mig not migraines or from sinus issues, this looks like it's gonna be perfect. Like maybe throw this in the fridge. Oh my gosh, it's got these little balls in here. I don't know if you can see all the little jelly balls in there. That's really cool. I'm assuming you would wear it this way. Wait a minute, this is confusing. You'd have to wear it because this is like the softer side. So I'm assuming you wear it this way once you've chilled it. It doesn't tell me if I can freeze it or not. I hope I, I don't know if I can freeze it. There's no notes in here or anything. That's the last thing in the bag. So it's not like there's a note that says, hey, you can put this in the freezer. Might have to go into their website and find out if I can put it in the freezer. Because if I can, that'd be great. But if I can't, I'll just stick it in the fridge. It'll be good either way. But this feels really cold. It feels nice. So do I think this was worth $35? I mean, this is really cool. Would I purchase this? Probably because I get a lot of sinus issues. So I would have purchased something like this down the line. The setting spray, I've never tried this. So I was really excited to have, I am really excited to have this and it smells so good. So I love the scent of that. The bag itself, I think is a really nice bag. It's not like cheapy feeling whatsoever. This would be a great bag to travel with. Then we have these Ofra lip wipes, which that's pretty cool because like if I'd ever do like a lip swatch video, it's really nice to have something that takes the lip products off kind of easily. So these will be great for that. And then we've got a big lip product and then a baby lip product. And these are both colors that I think I could totally wear. So I love the colors of these. Then we have the highlighter and highlighter in all of the lights. Isn't there a song called All of the Lights? I'm pretty sure. So there's what it looks like. I think it's so pretty. I think it's totally worth the after my coupon and everything, it was $28.50. I think it's totally worth my $28.50. I would pay probably around that price just for this, honestly. So I'm very, very happy. I'm very pleased with everything I got. I'd love to know, did you see this little goodie bag as well? Did you grab one? I think I'm going to start keeping an eye out for more of these little mystery bags. I know I've done the Julep mystery bags before. I've done, now I've done the Ofra. I've done Cover FX. I've done, who else did I do? can't remember there's been a couple other companies that I've done that, that do like mystery bags or sometimes they really do send you products that are like things that just won't sell or things that are like they're changing their packaging around which it does not look like Ofra did that whatsoever here because like I said these are their newer packaging so I don't think that they're sending you old things or things that are not like colors that people would wear so I really think this is a good one so I'll have to total it out and put it in here somewhere and let you guys know what the total value of it is and we'll see if it's actually monetarily worth it as well let me know if 
what you think. I'm interested. So anyway, I'd love to know what you guys think about this. And if you guys see any other mystery bags or boxes or whatever, let me know because I am kind of getting into those. I like the mystery things. I found one recently on Amazon. I think it might have been. Yeah, it was Amazon. I found one on Amazon. So I've ordered that one. So I'm hoping that comes in and we can unbox that one together as well because I like the little mysteries because you can see if it's just fun things. Sometimes it's just fun to try them out. Other times you'll get things that's like really cool that you're like, man, I wish I would have known about this. I probably would have purchased it, but I'm glad I got it in this instead. So anyway, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.